Hi guys, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage, mostly, uh, bag haul video unbagging. And, uh, excuse the noise. But let's get right to it. Cover your ears if you don't like the baggy noise. Or jewelry falling on the table. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, and excuse my nails. I had to give them a break. I see what is probably Kramer. Yeah, I think so. Kremens? Kramer. It's Kremens. I don't know why I said Kramer. Close enough. Usually they're gold filled. They have a pretty good quality item. Uh, I don't see any gold filled information on there, but very, very adorable. This looks like something possibly handmade. Oh, oh, has some Chinese writing or Japanese. I don't know the difference. Um, and some foil. Pretty neat. This is sweater clips or sweater guards. Tangled up with some missing stones and a little paint chip there. But those are pretty. Imagine that on a sweater. Super cool. It's got stone missing there. Really pretty though. Nothing on it. A tie clip of something I can't remember. Mount Rushmore, right? That's neat. Christmas tree with an American flag on top. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a dancing person. Looks like it has all the stones. That's neat too. I really love that. Very cool. A watch. Something. Why is that attached to it? Oh, it's just this stuck. What a weird place to get stuck. Oh, okay, got it. It's a watch. Geneva with little snowmen and snowflakes. They almost remind me of the erasers, but they're not erasers. They're wood or something. We got one missing, a snowflake. This is an earring. Oh, I thought it said something that's just where. I uh, I had sweater clips made out of the same material. A uh, tie bar thing. Clip on earring. Very pretty stones. Per, um, very pretty beads. Very pretty. If I don't find the other one, it'll go in the bead lot. 
This has all of its stones, it looks like. Pretty. The twist ones, you know, the um, screw backs. I think that says listener. Yes, listener. And they're intact, so that's cool. These are clip-on hoops. Seems like they have a lot of wear. It's not my imagination. Ooh, have one of these. That's pretty. No name on it, but it's got all the stones. Very nice. Oh, these are pretty. They remind me of Christmas. Patent pending. Would go like that. Pretty. Put that to the side. Hopefully, find the next one. I have to see what this is. Whoa. What is it? It just says quartz, so it's got numbers moving around. Hmm. I guess that's the style. It's like a big poinsettia Christmas thing with these hollies and the holly berries. It's got some green stones missing. It's very bold. It's a bold statement. Red hoops. Some clip-on earrings. Coral. Very pretty. I'm sure there was a necklace to go with it. And maybe I have it. It's that um, thermoset, they call it. Moon glow uh, thermoset. There's a match now. Some pierced red and pearl earrings. See if we have another one. I don't know if we have another one of these hoops. They're like metal, but missing the paint on some of them. This belongs to something. Maybe it was an earring. Oh, this is the other. I think it says made, yeah, made Western Germany. You can tell they have such pretty beads. This is a nice pearl brooch with some lucite or plastic of some sort. It's an older one from what I know. Doesn't want to go. Oh, there it is. When the pin sticks out further than here. These are pretty. I have one other one, I think. It was um, with moon glow purple um, beads, and I sold that one. Uh, this is um, interesting. I don't really care for the darkened look. I like, I don't know. Here's the shape. It's not bad, but it's just... Not my fave, but still not bad. And here's a nice red button earring. Oh, I'm telling you. I gotta get it together here. All right. It's a necklace. Ooh. Look at that. It's got stones in it. Stone, stone, stone. It's got a little wear in there, or it might be just dirt. It's got stone here. I don't see any. Oh, yes, I do. Trafari. Patent pending. All the way in there, it says it. And it's got this chain. Does it say Trafari? No. Well, I believe that it is tra trafari. Tr 
Truffari. How do you say it? Say it. Truffari. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. Sorry if I stare too long at it, but it's pretty. Oh no. Mm. Yay, we got the other one of these. They're so Christmassy. It's cool. It's a natural stone. I'm going to say it's the older one. It looks like a type of um, Labradorite, I would say. That's what it looks like to me. Neat. Anything with natural stones, I'm down with. They're cool. Oh. <sighs> Might have a lot of tangles in this one. Kind of a mess. Here we go. Got this. Some beadwork here. Um, seems like leather. Can't tell by smell. Just smells kind of vintage. Cool. Limited LTD watch. Yeah. Bit of a mess here. This is the other earring with the um, red and pearl. That stuff's dirty. That one. Another Christmas tree. No name. Kind of heavy. And nice shape. Ooh, a bee just rolled toward me and I thought it was a bug. Uh, this looks like some natural beads. Natural. Um, some mother of pearl and some kind of other natural stones on a waxed kind of cord with the barrel clasp. <laughs> kind of neat. I don't mind that. Here's that other earring. Here's a cloisonne type earring. And I see the other one hanging right here. And some loose pearls. Kind of a cheapy little thing. This is something from the Olympics, 84. This is AGC of Washington. Not sure what that is. Oh boy, I have one of these. And a tangled mess. Because there was something on a wire. Probably was a nice, pretty necklace, but now it's all messed up. Um, I'll take this off. I don't know why this is on a hook. <clears throat> Some patriotic earring. Avon. Oh, 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 oh. Little bracelet. Yeah, we have pearls running around. Um, well, that's broken. That's probably what it was. And this little bracelet. Of 
don't know. Cute. Some beads. Little angel. And pea. Oh, bolo tie, whatever you call that. And infinity bracelet. I don't see any maker, but this is, um, if you could see, uh, this seed thing. Oh, what's this? Maybe. <laughs> it's a prediction of if I can get this untied. It's giving me a prediction of maybe. So, there's some cool beads and just uh, a tangled mess that's going to have to wait. I don't see anything earth shattering in there, so we just will leave it. And the beads fall on the floor. This is some kind of resin, I guess. It's got a crack, unfortunately. It was pretty cool. Um, hmm. This is like. I guess part of some clothing like that would go it seems pretty old it's got some damage I'm not sure what I would do with that but I like the old stuff it's pretty neat this has some vertigray vertigrees see don't let it know. John F. Kennedy prom. I'll set that aside because it's that stuff is contagious and will make my other stuff yucky if I put it near it. So I gotta keep it separated. Um, this is a big tangled mess, but I see a big brooch in here and I see some pretty beads. Those are definitely garnet, I would say, and some rose quartz. Heavy for the tininess of them. Very pretty. There's a, a mitten or glove clip in here. Oh my goodness. I really want to get this untangled. There's a big brooch in here. And I think this necklace is broken, but um, nevertheless, I would like to get it untangled from this so we could see what this brooch looks like. I guess you get an idea. There's a broken piece here. That's very nice. I can't see if there's an, oh, there is a name. I think it's Maravella or Maravel. Maravella, yep. But look at those pretty beads all messed up in there. Shoot. That's also for another time just to have time to disassemble that and take it apart and get those pretty beads off there. Sorry about that. Christmas gift. That's a pretty one. Basics. Craft and borrow. That's nice. Coals. A heart with kind of a ribbon going through. Got a lot of wear, but it's not bad. It's cool. Oh, creepy masks. To me, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, 
it's uh, pretty cool if you like that stuff. Uh, a pearl uh, necktie. Perfect for that man in your life when you want to go to the, um, the pro convention. Have him get that on. Or lady. Ladies, you know, you can wear that. Scotch. I think this is something you hang on a bottle. Makes it fancy looking. I don't know if that's old or new. Not familiar with those kind of things. But I just, I don't collect them. I don't, I don't know. If you know, let me know. A turtle pendant when he's missing his stone and such. This would be good for a craft lot. Somebody can put what they want on there. Looks like an owl. It's all bent up. This is broken. No, it's not broken. It's just one of those crudely the, the really soft ones, those brooches. Let's see. A heart. Cute. Another one of those with the... Maybe these are cheaply made that were back in the day. Because they're not, they don't withstand anything. They, they really are always missing something. This is cool. It's got natural stone. I don't know what kind of stone it is. But I'm going to just go with the old fashioned agate. Got an old clasp like that. And some dangly stones. I mean, can you imagine how old these stones must be if this is like a vintage bracelet? It's got to be vintage. And then how old would these stones be? I can't imagine. But that's cool. That's pretty. Somebody made a ring. Pretty. Gosh, I can't open it. And here's an old bracelet. I like the way they did the back. With pearls. Sections of pearls. Looks like a roller coaster. Very nice, and nothing's missing. Woot. I like the way it's constructed. Sorry, I just whistled. Okay, there's a bead in there. Oh, bead. Oh, I don't uh, clamper bracelet. Nope. It's a you open it up. It's missing its safety chain. It's got a Greek key design. It's got some wear. Olympics, the 2002. Oh, some kind of maker. A leaf with a with a little stone on it. Pretty. Why? Christmas tree. Cute. Nice enameling on the bottom. empty. Yes. I don't know what that says. It's A and, A and Z SS. So I guess it's sterling silver. Cool. Chain might not be. But I can tell. Oh. Sorry. I 
drop things all the time. Looks like there's something written on there. Sterling. Pretty. Really should have done my nails. I'm not going to worry about it. What is this? One of these. Very heavy bracelet. Oh, it's got some surface area there off. It's worn. It's got this big shamrock on it. Interesting. This looks silver plated. I'll have to shine it up. Probably be cool if I just take it off of there because this has got some chunks of wear taken off. Screw back earring. A little I think it's yeah it's glass. Cute. Back in the day when I was back in yeah a long time ago when I was a kid I probably would have worn that all the time. I would have loved it. I love it now. I don't see any indication of silver, but super cute. Some beads, kind of heavy. I guess that they call that um, like peacock, right? Iridescent. It's broken. Majolica, 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 mm -hmm. I don't know what that says at the top, but it says Majolica, 92537 or B7 or something, nice color to these, but they're broke, I don't know if they're glass beads or cultured, you know, like similar to pearls or I have to look it up. Here's some fake pearls for you. Super light weight. No more key. Kind of a dirty champagne color. This is a bracelet that's got wire and some beads. That's different. the way it's constructed. Ooh, one of these. These are the Morpho. Morpho Butterfly. I love these. I collect them. You know, it's actually um, made with a butterfly. If you don't know. Butterfly wing. That blue iridescent. I'm not all for, I'm not all for killing butterflies, but yeah, these are these are old. These are really old. I don't think they make them anymore. But that's super cool because I really like to have them. Another button earring all bent up. Oh, this is pretty. Light. Very light. Is it missing any stones? No, I don't see any missing stones. Nicely constructed. Very light. I don't know what it's made out of. Some kind of plastic. And this is glass beads. No name on it. It's very pretty. Little baby. I think it might come with these pictures or I'll just keep seeing the same kid. Mother. It's like a white 
powder coated metal with these little danglies. That's different. This is uh, I believe I found earrings like this in another bag. Either I found a brace, um, a necklace like this again, or it was, this needs to be cleaned. I could swear I found something like this. Uh, it's a BSK. Tiny little necklace. I think it, oh, it does have a little bit of a knot. It's cute. Little anchor and a cross and a little heart. Feels like silver, but let me check. Yep, this is, looks like it says sterling on that side. If you can see, I'll put my finger in there. <laughs> right over here. Sterling, cute. I'll put that to the side because it's going to get all tangled up, I bet. I have this. Poison A type. And these that I have seen before with a low quality opal. Little rose earring. Little rhinestone. Check to see if it's silver. Don't see any markings. Some plastic beads. Oh wait, they might be glass. Little chain. A little heart. Very 80s. This necklace got purple stones in it. And then the chain is broke. Bummer. I think this is oh gee, a watch fob thing, right? A little chain that has something. Oh, Avon. Big monogrammed bracelet. That's, I'm thinking, a fur or sweater clip. Really pretty. I love all the different shapes. It's very art deco or art nouveau, whatever. One of those arts. Yuck, this I don't like. This is a neat chain. Kind of braided. It is J and Y. It's a nice chain. I like it. Smooth. A ring with all the stones. Cool. Um, 
Lord's Prayer or something like that. bracelets. This is missing some pieces here. Thought I just saw something. My imagination. It's broken basically. Oh, this is a little scarab. How cute. Hope I find the other one. I think they just basically put it on there or something, but it's cute. A little arrowhead necklace. More of these. Little cheapy bracelets. Here's a little neck wire thing. With a stone in it. Just put it on like that. Cool. Fake pearl bracelet. I just threw a ring. That's pretty. That's probably just like 18 karat gold filled. Yeah. HG um, 18 karat H is for heavy heavy gold electroplated so when it says heavy it's supposed to be better than regular electroplated it's pretty another ring with some purple stones I think what is missing I don't know what that says. Roman. Oh, that's my dog. Here's one of these old rings. Got a lot of wear to it. These bracelets, I forgot what they're called, but I have quite a few of them. I wouldn't say quite a few, but like two other ones. And, um,. Sometimes the, the painting on it or whatever they do is more vivid and you can see pinks and, and gold and silver. They're a pretty style. A ring. Got a little something on there. Pretty. This is very colorful. It's got all the stones. No name on it. Very 80s, I would say, you know. Excuse the crunching, that's the dog. It's got some little stones in it. I don't know about the rest, but I know this is um, it's a real tiger's eye. And this is some gold stone. I don't think the rest of the stones are real, though. This little adjustable ring. Got this kind of worn. Very worn inside. This is a bracelet, stretchy bracelet, but it's pretty. It's got all these things on it. Sorry for the crunching. That's the Brody. I'm oh, sorry. This I've seen before, I've had one, but this is very worn out. Another little ring with, uh, well, it's not little, it's quite big, with a little amethyst. I don't know what that says. Taiwan. Sorry, oh my gosh. 
Oh my goodness, Brody. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Tangled mess. Oh, look at this big thing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to Vegas. Okay. These are a lot of multi-strand necklaces, which give me a super duper hard time. Because they're so long, and some of them don't have clasps, so you can't undo the clasps. I think that says something. It's got a nice um, chain to it. Kind of doesn't pull your hair out in the back of your neck. Roma, I'm gonna say that's Roma. Oh, these are too tangled. And all the hoops. Some hoops. A hoop. You see my problem here? Just too much tangles. something from the tangle. I think this, I think I've just pulled it apart. Look at this. Hmm? For your next an inaugural ball. I think this belongs on here. It's kind of like an extendery thing. Goodness, the dog wants to go out now. One minute, bro. Uh, oh, I got it. How frustrating is that for you to watch? And for me to do. Okay, here you go. If I can bend it with my superhuman strength, I can. Okay, so this is um pretty cool. Does it really say Japan on it? Come on. Yes, it does. Hmm, okay. I think I'm going to have to wear this 4th of July. It's kind of neat. What do you think? I'm going to get it separated because it's going to get tangled up again. I don't think there's any untangling going on here. There's this a little natural stone in there. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the the dog just went out. Yeah, he wants to go in again, but literally, literally just came in. Okay, don't know what that is. I guess part of a broken necklace. I have this chain already, but there's just a big, a big tangled mess in here. Don't know what that is. Sometimes I find really good stuff in tangles because they don't want to bother to untangle it, but I don't see anything specifically in here that would be super cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna have to let the dog out because he's not gonna stop. Okay, I'm back. He um we taught him to ring the bell on the door when he wants to go out and boy does he ring that bell. broken it once already because smashes it smash smashes it <laughs> smash that bell this is um really heavy i think it's modern 
And this is just a tangled up mess in a multi-chain type situation, which always gives me a hard time. And one of these that's really broken and bendy. And a broken earring. Let's see what we got here. I see pretty colors. Oh, these are um those things. I thought it said something. Oh, look at the back is cool. Plastic. We've got some um, wear and some verdigris. Pretty color. I like the way they did the back. That's super cool. Very nice. I can't picture somebody wearing them, but uh, they had to have. Got a lot of these back in the day. Cute little things. This seems off crookedy, but they're really cute. I like those. A mesh bracelet. It's worn. Pretty color. Clamper type. Pretty. I love the color. Oh. Empty watch. Marty Robbins. He sounds familiar. Marty Robbins. Super legend. No clue. Guess I can Google it. Bunny rabbit, cute bunny, made well bunny, the holes in the back, so the stones got some light coming through the back, sparkle, very cute. Oh, bunny pin, like articulated, the head moves, with the pink eyes, cute. This is a big, big pendant with some wear on it. Plastic bracelet. Not sure how old it is. Oh. A bracelet with um the mustard seed. I found a couple of those, yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Let go. Butterfly. Pretty. No markings, but um, very pretty. I like the style. Oh, he probably had a stone. Or, um, you know, a rhinestone. That could be substituted. If you wanted to fix it. It's a wire bracelet with some dangly thing, but plastic beads. I'm just, I gotta find out what the heck that is. Uh, uh, uh is that an apple and a hippo? Unexpected. Huh. Maybe it's from a zoo. Another bunny. Alright, I gotta back it up. Yeah, it's tangled. Definitely tangled. Well, here's a watch. It's a Unitron. 
It's, they tried to make it all cute, but they're not the prettiest watches, are they? Those type. Oh my goodness. This might be a belt or something because it's awful long. It's got the hook here. Yeah, I'm thinking belt with this thing on there. See it? Groovy belt. We got an earring attached to this. It's like wire or copper or something. Plastic ring. And you know, these bangles um, can be annoying because there's no way to open them up. So you gotta work around them. They don't like it. If I had wire snippers or something, I could just snip them. Let's see what this is. Part of. Oh no, it's an earring. How cute. Cute. Screw back in a pretty purple Aurora Borealis glass. I'll put that aside. Be glad to find another one of those. Ooh, lordy, I don't think I'm going to get this untangled. Mom and, mom and me. Mom, I guess it's like mom and me. Put photo here. Cute. But listen, I cannot get this untangled. And there's a seagull. And some little beads and this, that, and that. And a really cool fish. Made out of mother of pearl. And that side is the other side of it. The other side of mother of pearl. And this is the more lighter side. Look at that. That's neat. But we saw what's in that tangle. There's also this. Almost looks like a Sarah Coventry, but I guess it's not. Oh, it's very bendable. Weird looking. Kind of weird looking. A wood bangle. The bottom to a um, stick pin. This is a choker, I guess. And this is, I would say it's kind of Americana. But these are almost pink. They're not even red. But I guess you can get away with it. It reminds me of an American flag. Right? It gives me that feeling. It doesn't really give me a Christmas feeling. Okay. Let's let it all hang out. I see something I like already. That's so pretty. I love that. I love Lucite and I like pressed flowers. Very pretty. I put that to the side because might be wearing that soon. I think I have one of these. It's Sarah Coventry, I think. Yep. Sarah Cov. Oh, I have one of these two. Ten Commandments. Some silver looking earrings. A brooch. Is that a dragon? 
It's like a warrior on a horse. And I think that's a dragon. And he's like stabbing it or like he's fighting it. That's different. I've never done anything like that. And I'm, I'm back. It just fell. Ah, uh, yep. Thumbs down for you. Okay. What we got here? This is pretty. It's a JJ, but it's broke. Oh, crafter's lot. Eh. Ooh. I thought that was a scary mask. But it's a shell. Hmm. Pretty. Oh, that's handmade. Very pretty, though. I like um, stained glass, and I like shamrocks, and I like green. That's pretty. A heart. And I like hearts. Another heart. And a cute little ring. Nothing in there. A little rose. See? This is like a... Um, I don't know what that is. Is it um, some kind of symbol for something? Hey, bro. Oh, I think this is a fake coach bracelet. I do that too fast. I just figured it's like uh, it's worn and I don't think it's real. Stretchy stones. A vintage plastic necklace. Stretchy. We're gonna move pretty fast with this one if it's not tangled and I just jinxed myself because we've got some tangles. It's always these thin ones with the with the beads. But this heart. Everything's attached to each other. Whoa. Look at this. Like, um, what's that? The stealth airplane almost. That's, that's interesting. Oh, a little earring. A ring. Doesn't fit me. A watch. From Armortron. I like the blue, that's pretty snazzy. The glow, the blue glow, ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, these are glass. It's got a safety. It's got a green and amber colored stone in it. It's so pretty, so pretty. I like it. Another watch. ring. It looks like it would stretch, but it doesn't. Okay. Something in there. What did I say? Oh, 925 Italy. What's the maker? There's a G... And something. Do you guys know what that is? Is it T G T F T E nine two five Italy? Oh, totally dismissed that ring. Sorry. Kind of expands, but it kind of doesn't. 
Oh, I don't even know how to look that up because I don't know what that symbol is. But it mm, might be something good. All right, this, um, that's for a scarf, I believe. Uh, this is what's tangled. Let me see what this is. If you think it's frustrating for you, oh, Napier. This is tangled. That heart and these um, plastic purple beads and a gold chain. And this is Jesus and Mary and Joseph. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to definitely say that's Jesus and that's Mary, right? Or, all right. I like to embarrass myself. Ooh, it's got a lot of wear. Ooh, but I like it. It's very Art Deco, I would say. Or I got to look up the definition for that. Art Deco or Art, Art Nouveau. Um, it's got a lot of wear on the back, but the front is peachy keen. It's cool. I would wear this. In the fall because it's a fall kind of color to me very pretty i like it oh oh i'm on I'm that hour i've got too much i've got too much a big ring don't know what that says but i can't imagine wearing it and it's got some wear inside Pretty pen. Not signed. Some earrings. A fashion ring. Um, it's like a Christmas pin, right? From Avon. It's the the donkey and oh, it's Jesus. This pretty bracelet. Fashion bracelet. Oh, no, it's missing. Missing the same stones. That's too bad because I like that style. This says coral, but I don't know if it is coral because it doesn't say it here. Um, I don't know if coral, coral usually makes some pretty, prettier stuff. So I don't know if that is. I have coral earrings I could put on that little card. There's a J. That's a pretty J. There's like a hemolite, hem, hematite, hemolike um, religious bracelet. This. I think I have one of these. Sarah Coventry, yeah. It's a common one. Some of these earrings, little hoops. Some black glass beads. Looks like it's broken on one side. But these are always pretty. This is the back to something. And just some plain... This has some shell in it. These are just plastic and metal. And some of these. I think this is old. Some little rhinestones. These are cool. Tiny. Oh, this might belong to that, there's only one, but the black earrings, the plastic earrings, so I'll put that to the side. Um, oh, ran out of time here, but I wanted to show you a couple things <clears throat> that I got. I had bought this, 
at an auction online um, immortal hourglass yes um, Dia and didn't know much about it but I believe it's copper it's got a glass part here which is called Hubble glass um, not exactly sure if it is American Indian it might have been something from something they call uh, it's from the 30s Fred Harvey trading post and something that was made to look um, in the American Indian style or um, you know Native American and they used the Hubble glass as a substitute you know it wasn't to trick anybody it was just something that was made back then to kind of replicate it or a certain style anyway I I fell in love with that I like it very much I can't remember if I showed you guys this is um I got this from England it's um sterling silver and it's the Morpho Butterfly, like that other pendant that I just found. You know, the butterfly wing in the back. But this is a lady in a dress. can't remember if I showed you guys that. I have to get it enlarged a little bit to wear it. But I couldn't pass it up because it was awesome. And I don't really see that style much. I always tend to see the beach scene and things like that. So I had to get it. These are for things that I picked up, just that, you know, they have tons of stuff in that antique shop that I go to. And um, so, you know, I collect these scarabs, and this is Goldfield set of the scarabs. This is, I'm not going to take it out because I already dropped them once. It has like a hidden frame inside. So that's pretty cool. The earrings are marked um, Amco. Gold filled. So, pretty happy with that. This I'm super happy with. I will take it out of the bag and I'm going to put it back because if I drop it, it might break the enamel. This is from the 30s. It's sterling adjustable. Um, it's, it's enamel. Um, frog, as you can see. Really super cool. I really like it a lot. I just love enamel work, especially when it's got the um, texture underneath. And the word escapes me, but, you know, it's beautiful. This is gold filled also. It's a pink glass stone. It's marked. It has a safety. And it's this company that makes a lot of gold filled jewelry back in the day. Um, Catamore. 12 karat gold filled. Very pretty. Nice glass beads or stones. This, I wish I had a flashlight because they look like they're black stones, but they're really a deep, deep red. You can't tell because you really need to have the light shining on it, but a really beautiful red. Not marked, but beautiful rhinestones. I got this expandable bracelet. I just could tell it was really super old. And I don't remember the name of the company, but it's uh, Bella. Oh, shoot. Can you see it? Bella Lavins. Bella Lavins, whatever. Ink. <laughs> and it's gold filled. Expandable. Really, really precious. Love it. Got this. I'm not sure if it's jadeite or what it is, but this is a silver clasp. And you can tell because it'll say it right in that little area there. And it does say sterling. So whatever it is, it's very pretty. And last but not least. Well, don't, it is not last. <laughs> um, this rosary I picked up. Thought it was really pretty. And 
those are the glass beads I mean pretty awesome it has this with some enamel work on it that's enamel and a little tag which is cool it has made in Italy still on there so I thought that was neat and you can't beat these beads they're beautiful the caps on them really nice I thought that was pretty. These I got a while back. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'm going to have to pan out, I think. These are old frames. I think they're made out of some sort of paper. They're so pretty. It's got a crack on the bottom, but I couldn't pass them up. Look. Um... This is the back. Unfortunately, I don't know what the back was supposed to look like, um, how it's supposed to stand. The back has been removed because I'm assuming there was a picture in there and they took it out. There's two. This one has flowers and the butterflies and also some birds. It's got a crack on there, but I just couldn't, couldn't not get them. I just I couldn't leave them there. I said, I have to have them. So, they're beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I have to do something. Because it would be a shame to just tuck them away and do absolutely nothing. They're just done so pretty. And there's some kind of cardboard. If I knew how to describe them, I could probably look it up and see if I could find some other ones. But... If anybody's ever seen anything like this, let me know. All right, I guess that's about it, guys. It's, uh, it's late, as usual. Uh, hopefully, I'm coming in clear. And hope you enjoyed. Went over an hour, so hopefully you can watch to the end. Um, and have a great night. Thanks for subscribing. I just, I like to show something at the end instead of looking at nothing. <laughs> just a pile of stuff. Thanks for watching and subscribing as always. And I hit 3,000. Oh, yes. I hit 3,000. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to do a giveaway or something. And um, I believe next week, um, Carla, um, Princess Casserole, uh, my friend, will um, be having an auction with me. So I'll be trying to um, thin out all this stuff that I have and uh, be doing a lot of craft bags and bead bags and, um, and individual items too. Uh, so that'll be fun. I'll keep you updated on that. So have a great night, great day, and thanks for watching.